The first film was already a monumental uh, moment for representation by focusing on different aspects of Polynesian culture. How did you tackle the topic of representation in this movie and what are you especially proud of including? Yeah, no, the, the, we're very proud of the first Viana and so excited to build off of it. Um, I, part of my cultural heritage comes from Samoa. Uh, Dana uh, Ludu Miller, our, our other uh, director on this, also has a cultural heritage in Samoa. And uh, for me personally, there are very important moments. There's a moment where uh, you might have seen it, Felix, where Moana receives a title from her community. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is very, very precise representation of culture, uh, specifically of a Saufa'i ceremony of receiving a title and using oh, wow. Ava, which is throughout all of the Pacific. And so for me, that is that is a very specific um, moment of representation that I'm proud of. But throughout the entire film, whether it's in dance moves or even the way the canoe is made, uh, we were very, very precise. I'll say just that also extends to the cast as well. Um, we obviously, all of the characters, we have an incredible new crew that that uh, Viana brings on this journey with her. And every one of those people all, we, we very specifically wanted to work with people that are from the region that have cultural heritage there. And it's great because it like, like Dave was just saying how important it is to make it right. It also was important as everybody that we brought onto it felt that. And I think that that passion builds on itself into the final film that we saw. Yeah, it, you, you can really feel it uh, and it's very specific. That's why I wanted to ask that question. Um, the water in, the move, in these movies look absolutely incredible. Like even for Disney standards, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah. how, important, how important was it for you as storytellers to make people, their facial features and especially nature look as real as they do in, in Moana 2? Yeah, I, it was very important. I, I, and I thank you for saying that about the water because I was obsessed with it and I am <laughs> obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's like it, ad nauseum I talk about it because it's, it's stunningly beautiful because um, nature is worthy of being told correctly. Like it, it's the 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 world of Moana and the characters are one thing actually, and that's the world that we all get to share. And to show it off in its best uh, best lights and and make it look as amazing as possible is a gift that I think as an audience member you want to go back to that world. But it's it is it's the world of Moana and the characters of Moana are a very special place. And the wonderful Bayana. thing about Yes, the wonderful thing about the world of Viana is that we get to heighten the visual world, and our artists had always root things in reality. But because it is animation, we can push things even further yeah. and farther, and have our yeah. own artistic interpretation on things. And those little details for me are really what makes Disney animation stand out from other places. With Moana 2 being first imagined as a TV show and now being developed into a full feature film, what were the biggest obstacles you had to overcome during production? Yeah, I mean, I think what we were always telling an overarching story. So it was a TV series in the sense that it was a story broken up into multiple episodes, but okay. that really allowed us to actually workshop a lot of our new characters, those crew characters that we brought on board. So it was a great uh, workshop for that element of it. And I think what was really challenging was just to, to, to push as much of the story as we could, um, really realign it as much as we could behind uh, Viana's point of view. And then what was great about it was it allowed us to tell the biggest story possible for the big screen. So that's, it was actually a, a, an incredible gift to be able to do that to filmmakers. We want to tell the biggest story. We really want to push all the visuals push all the locations that we went to. So we were able to do that. Um, with uh, Moana, uh, or we can say Moana and Vayana, it's both both the same. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 watched, I watched the movies in English, so it's it's Vayana, okay. but still uh, spoken in English. It's uh, kind of, yeah, kind of amazing what's, what's being done. But with uh, her little sister being included, how important is it to, uh, how important is the bond of family to you personally? And how do you overcome, or how do you convey that feeling uh, to the movie star? Storytelling. Yeah, no, that's that's very important and very personal to all of us. Um, you know, my eldest daughter is named Samea and she's 21 years old. And I have a younger son named Quentin and he's seven. And despite the the, the gap in age, um, the two are incredibly close. And their beautiful relationship is what inspired the relationship between Moana and, and Simea. And it's something that can showcase 
Moana's love for her people, her commitment to them, but also her commitment to their future. We always like to say that Moana wants to give Simea the entire ocean. But、mm. to do that, she has to go on a quest where she might not return. But she's doing this all not for herself, but for her people and especially for her little sister Simea.、Yeah. The first movie is still my all-time favorite animated Disney movie, and I never would have thought that we ever get a sequel. Are you planning or even hoping for one day making a Moana three? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we worked so hard to make this film, <laughs> and we, because of people like you, that we feel the same way. Dave and I both worked on the first film. We、yeah. love it. We,、uh, it's the film that my family and I have watched the most of anything I've ever made. So, the love for for Moana is real for me.、Um, I would never say no.、Um, I'm just happy about the film we currently have made. Yeah, but I yeah. would never say no. <laughs> it's a big ocean. There's so many stories. <laughs> well, who knows? Unserer Vorfahren zu neuen Ufern aufzubrechen und unser Volk über den Ozean hinweg wieder zu vereinen. Maui? Oh, ein Snack. Ein Snack Upgrade. Eier und Speck. Wo war das Schwein auf der letzten Reise? 